Hi, I'm Skip Breakfast, and this is Darknet Download. It is hot out, so don't forget to wear your smog mask and carry your lead-lined umbrella. Night City and other southern cities across the western coast are suffering an enormous medical nanite shortage. These are the programmable nanites that are used to treat a whole host of injuries and to provide emergency medical care to people who've been injured or involved in accidents or more likely around here, shot. So try not to get shot until the supply chain gets sorted out. Shipments are supposedly coming in from up north, but when they'll arrive is anybody's guess. Plenty of people seem to be on the lookout for them, especially now they're in a shortage, so maybe there's a quick buck to be made. Who knows? Chinese American car manufacturer Hongqi Draco has uh, ceased business in Night City, shutting down a couple of its outskirts factories, which means there's going to be a whole host of thousands of people unemployed. Even with most of the work done by robots, this is going to have a significant impact on the local budget and doubtless the crime statistics as desperate people go looking for desperate ways to get desperate amounts of money. So expect things to be hot in every sense until the end of the summer. Speaking of the Chinese, the Pan-African Union has been rattling its saber somewhat as China attempts to build its own mass driver for slinging payloads into orbit. Things have continued to escalate as China has begun building missile and other defense silos around their mass driver as it's being built in order to forestall any interference or space rocks that might be flung at it. Whether that will succeed, whether it gets to that point, I don't know, but both the African Union and the People's Republic are uh, hiring people for corporate espionage, so might be an opportunity there as well. Extreme weather continues all around the world. There's the heat wave here. There is a ruin storm that is hitting the British Isles and Western Europe quite savagely along its border with the Atlantic, with no abate seemingly in sight. London's been flooded a while, but it looks like it's going to be more flooded for a while. Meanwhile, in India, flooding is just as bad there, albeit not with a ruin storm. At this point, Bangladesh is virtually uninhabitable by human beings, and as a result, a mass exodus of refugees into the surrounding countries, none of which are faring particularly much better, is going on. So expect, expect some of them to come here if they can afford to, which means more competition and uh, fewer jobs with the shutdowns to go around. What is interesting that a, is that a consortium of seasteaders has come together offering to buy up large tracts of land in Bangladesh before it sinks beneath the waves in order to set up foundations for their seasteading pro projects. Paying more than the land is worth, so that might help, but you can't help but also see it as somewhat exploitative. British American cannabis claim to have produced a blight immune strain that is particularly adaptable to rapidly changing climate. These genes may be able to be spliced into related plants, and believe it or not, that includes apple trees. So at least we'll be able to get high and eat apples, even when the ecosphere completely collapses. So in conclusion, don't try and get a legit job, slap on the sunscreen, carry an umbrella, and uh, get high and fuck it all, I guess.